Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one gonna be on the Flash issue number 29 and this issue was just amazing. The cliffhanger was even amazing and the art on this cover was amazing as well. Anyway, this issue starts off with the Flash finding out that his colleague was possessed by the Keystone Killer and he actually murdered three of his colleague friends and you know it just kind of got into the flash that there's something much bigger than this and the flash started to look into the CCTV or the security cameras to find out the key that the Keystone Killer actually searched for someone that shared the same bloodline with him and it appears that there's only one person who does and it's Captain Free, uh, Captain Free, yeah. So the Captain is actually related to, uh, you know, related to the Keystone Killer so the flash wanted to check up on him before the Keystone Killer a keystone killer gets to him but instead he found his colleague force and force told him that there was a note on the fridge that said uh, keystone killer just meet up with me you know the place where we met at the first time so later on we see that uh, the flash or Barry, I mean going back to the crime scene and you know talking to Patty about it and then Patty tells him that there is a possibility that uh, the Captain Frey is uh, your biological father and later on we see that you know the flash is actually uh, you know, helping Captain Frey after he got possessed by, you know, uh, the Keystone Killer and he was actually to going to blow himself up but the, you know, the Flash saved him and then the Keystone, the Keystone Killer wanted to possess the Flash because he found out later that the Flash has the same bloodline with him and Captain Frey was just a decoy. So later on you see that the Flash got possessed by the Keystone Killer, he wanted him to get possessed but the Flash of course, you know, <coughs> He didn't uh, let the Keystone, the uh, Keystone Killer, to take control over him, and he just started to vibrate. So you know he couldn't, uh, so he wouldn't let actually the Keystone Killer to you know take his, over his body. And in the end, we saw that uh, Dead Man, you know, uh, directed him to a room in the Mystery House, uh, you know, so he could trap uh, the Keystone Killer in there. And that was it, pretty much for that fight but in the end of the issue as i said the cliffhanger was amazing we see henry and the captain and captain free actually are talking and finally we see that captain free is saying to henry we should never let barry know about uh who's the real killer who killed uh, his mom so this issue was pretty interesting i really liked it i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 it's a read list it's a file list thank you all guys for watching let me know what you think of this issue right down below don't forget to subscribe comment like share and see you guys around take care